What is up guys Abhinav here for a new tutorial on wave animations in PowerPoint. Today we are going to be dealing with three types of wave animations. Basically the first one being the irregular wave animation, the second would be the simple sine wave and the third one will be the waveform. However this being a topic of large discussion we will do it at the end. So starting with the first one we have the irregular wave animation. But before actually starting with this animation, I must familiarize with you one new concept that is the element method. So in this topic we are first going to deal with how each and every object is made. To know fully about one object we must know what it is actually made of, what is the element of that object. So take an example of a line. We need to consider what it is actually made up of. If we look very closely, we will find that this is a line made up of infinitely small dots which are arranged in a particular sequence very closely packed and this is a small dot which represents the element of this line. So what we are going to do is integrate the small dot till a limit and we will get a line. And that's the basic of our first wave animation, the irregular wave. So in this animation we would be extensively using motion paths. So before we have any problem we shall first make a frame of the whole animation. Go to shape and you can see this curved tool with the help of this make any irregular wave. But while making this wave you must consider that there should not be a single sharp point. If there is any one, the whole animation would look choppy. Now we shall select the element of this wave. There in a line there was a dot but now we will insert a circle which is I think better than any other small object. So just arrange it at the initial position of this whole frame and add the desired shape fill. Remember there should be no outline or the outline should be of the same shape fill. Now we will add animations to this. We will add a custom motion path. From the center of this circle, just take it to the curved end of this whole wave and cover the whole path. Now you can see that these sharp ends are not arranged properly. They should be exactly at the center of the curved end. So we must arrange each of them properly in order to properly curve the motion path. After the motion pass we would be left just with a little bit task of editing the rest of the animation is almost almost over now you can see these sharp ends what we will do is right click on each and every edge point and go to smooth point and you can see this straight segment we will, we will go to curved segment and we can see how magically this takes the shape of the whole frame and similarly we will cover the whole wave As you can see now this element follows the whole curved path that we made. Now this frame isn't required so we can delete it. But there is one sharp point, a near sharp point we can say so we will just smoothen it a bit. This might be fine. And here also a bit. Yeah. Now we have one element, we will add many other elements in order to have a similar animation. Just go to smooth end and you can change it according to yourselves. I prefer making it almost almost equal. Now click on this circle and press F4 key after copying it. So you can see now we will have many objects of the same animation. 
so at least 14 to 15 copied objects is required apart from the first object we have to select all of the objects so we have the clear position where the initial object was placed deselect the first one and align the rest of them to the center and place over the original one now we will take the second animation and add a delay which is very very small we can say infinitesimally small but you know it is not possible to have such small delays in powerpoint you can see the lowest it goes is not 0.001 but actually 0.01 so we have to manage with this and similarly we will add the same amount of delay to the rest of the animations and here we are with the animation ready now you can see how an element with a very short delay goes over the path and it acts like an irregular wave and that's the whole animation we wanted Coming to the second wave animation that is the simple sine wave we just require one shape and the whole animation will be over. This is pretty much very easy as compared to the first one. For this we will require this double wave and also from this double wave we only require the upper portion that is the upper outline the bottom portion will be cut from this shape using the edit points. Well this was not discovered by me this was actually given to me by Angelo Cardusel in one of the ppt files he shared with me so big shout out to him and now you see that we are left with this part you can remove the shape fill and we have got the desired outline which we wanted but as you know apart from the sine wave or unlike the sine wave this is not symmetrical at all so we will take the above curved ends and make it to the center with this edit points tool and as you can see that we are done with this part and we have got a nice sine wave which is pretty much very symmetrical you can say just copy it with the help of shift and control key and place it one after another now I will group both of it, these waves and add a suitable weight maybe 6 to 4 points so that it looks like a nice and bold wave make it to square cap type and the joint type will be melter If we can unite these wave but these are outlined so we have to group both of these and after grouping them you can see that these are pretty large so we have to make it a bit smaller and this might be fine and now it's part for the animation we will insert a rectangle over it such that it cover the whole wave now you can remove the outline Let's add the animation. I will again add a custom motion path from the center to right. Just with the help of hit and trial we will see at which part it decovers or uncovers the whole wave. This must be fine. Or maybe a little more and you can see the whole wave is uncovered. Start this animation with previous and make the smooth end to the full. You can change the duration according to yourselves. Now I will take this rectangle and copy it just to the left of this. Now you can see that these both are moving at the same rate. I have added a delay to it and if I change the color of both of these rectangles you will see that we have got a curvy trim path or we say a simple sine wave animation told you it was very easy and it is I think used many times in the previous video so 
that was all about it. Now you can not only make a linear sine wave, if you want to tilt this, you can just make it a video and tilt or just tilt the motion path which should be parallel to the rectangles. So coming to the third one, we have this waveform. Actually it is potentially impossible to create in PowerPoint but many tricks like the rotoscoping or the frame tracing can be used like which I have done in the smoke animation which you can check out here. But here we have to deal with a hell lot of frames. So even a 3 to 4 second clip can take about 3 to 4 days to make which is I think that cannot be done. So my sincere apologies that I cannot make a tutorial for this. If you have any better methods then please suggest in the comment section. I will surely make a tutorial thereafter. However, I have given the reference file in the description for download. I think that's all for now. Thanks for watching my video. Do like and subscribe. Peace out.